And we'll start with the pelvic curls. So you're gonna lie down with your knees bent and your feet hip width apart. And let's just start in our neutral position there. All right, we're gonna do half an hour, so I'm just checking my time. All right, so arms down by your side, and then gently draw your shoulders back so you can feel that you're opening here across the collarbones. And we're gonna take a deep breath in, and we're gonna breathe out, tilting the pelvis towards us, pressing into the feet, and then peeling the spine up off the floor. So pushing up through those legs, inhale there. And exhale, relaxing through the chest and coming down through the spine. Let's do that again. Deep breath in. And exhale to tilt. And roll the spine up. Inhale to hold. And exhale as you slowly come back down through the spine. It's so going to keep that going. We're going to inhale to prepare. So exhale, you're pulling the abdominals in and you're going to keep them pulling in all the way through the lift up. Inhale. And then exhale, relaxing through the chest, coming down through the spine and back onto the mat. Good. And again, deep breath in and exhale to tilt and roll that spine up. Inhale. And exhale, as you come back down, try and keep those knees in line, two more, deep breath in, exhale to tilt, inhale to hold, and exhale as you lower back down, and last one, deep breath in, and exhale to tilt, and lift back up, and we're going to stay up in the air, so push up through the legs. So you're going to take a deep breath in now, and you're going to exhale to raise the right heel up, and inhale to lower it down. So we're going to exhale to lift, and inhale to lower. Exhale to lift, and inhale lower. Exhale, lift, and lower. Lift, and lower. Lift, and low one more, lift and low. Going on to the left side, lift and lower. Exhale, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Last one and lift and lower. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, coming all the way down through the spine. You're going to take your arms straight out to the side. Palms facing up, and then you're going to lift your right leg up, your left leg up. We're going to bring them into a tabletop position, so that's shins parallel to the floor for the spine twist. So we're going to keep our upper body nice and still and move from the waistline. So we're going to breathe in as we take our knees over to the right. We're going to exhale to bring them back to the center. And then other way, inhale as you go over, and exhale as you come up, good. So we inhale over and exhale, lifting up. Inhale over and exhale up. So breathing in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, pulling the abdominals in as those knees come back. Inhale over and exhale up, good. Inhale over. And exhale up, one more, inhale over, and exhale up. Let's take the legs down, let's interlace the fingers, hands behind the head, elbows open, pelvis in neutral for the chest lifts. You're gonna take a breath in, you're gonna breathe out, pull the tummy in, lifting the head and chest up, looking straight ahead at your knees and not moving your uh, pelvis, so it stays nice and still. Then you're gonna take a deep breath in, and you're gonna exhale to come back down. So breathing in to prepare, and breathing out to lift. <sighs> Inhale to hold, and exhale to lower down. Good, deep breath in to lift. Exhale, sorry, to lift. <sighs> Inhale to hold, 
and exhale to lower down. Let's do that again. So we breathe in. We breathe out as we lift up. So we're trying to really get that oxygen in the body. Inhale. And exhale to lower down. Deep breath in. And exhale to lift. You're going to hold it there. Taking a deep breath in again. You're going to exhale. You're going to rotate the chest. Look just past your right knee. And inhale, come back to centre. And then exhale past the left knee. And back to centre. So a little rotation with the body. Exhale. And centre. Good. And rotate. And centre. Or rotate and center. Keep the chest up. Rotate and center. Rotate and center. Last one. Rotate and center. Now take a deep breath in. Exhale. Try and lift a little higher. Now I want you to extend those arms. Put your fingers under your thighs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Pull the tummy in and see if you can bring yourself all the way up to sitting. All right, we're going to do the roll up so you can have your knees bent. I'm going to do all the traditional movements, so I'm going to do it with the legs straight. You can do this if you're happy with that. Let's have the arms out in front. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, pulling the tummy muscles in, coming down through the spine and reaching the arms overhead. Then you're going to inhale, moving arms, head and chest. Exhale, pulling the tummy muscles in, and coming up, making sure you're really drawing back in those abdominals. Stay there, take a deep breath in, and exhale. Coming back and taking the arms overhead. Inhale to move the arms, head, and chest. Exhale. Coming up, good. You're trying to feel that stretch in the back there. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, pull your abdominals in and come down through the spine, keeping the legs together, arms overhead, keep those ribs down, inhale, moving arms, head and chest, this is the hard bit, exhale, pull the tummy in, as you come back up, good, deep breath in, and exhale, coming back down, and arms overhead, Inhale to move the arms, head and chest, eye line forward. Exhale, draw the abdominals in, coming all the way up. And last one, we're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to exhale, come down to the floor, all the way down. You're going to reach the arms overhead and take them around to the side. So once again, they're uh, in line with the shoulders, palms to the ceiling. You're going to unfold your right leg. And we're going to do the leg circles. You can have the leg bent like this, or you can have it straight. This is how it was done traditionally. All right, so from here, we're going to inhale, taking the leg across the body. Exhale, take it down, around, and up. So we go across, down, around, and up. 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 And across, down, around, and up. Go the other way. Inhale out and exhale around. Inhale out and exhale around. Good. Out and around. Out and around. And last one. Out and around. Let's take that leg down and let's unfold the left leg. So if you're just joining us, we're doing a very traditional class here, so it's a little bit more advanced than normal. So here we go. We're going to inhale across and exhale around. Across, down, around, and up. Across, down, around, and up. We're trying to keep the pelvis nice and still. One more. Across, down, around, and up. Let's go the other way. Inhale out and exhale around. Inhale out. And exhale around. Good. Last one. Out and around. Good. You're going to take that leg down. And we're going to reach our arms back overhead. And we're going to try and come up from here. So think of ribs down, ribs nice and closed there. And you're going to inhale to so move your arms, head and chest. 
Exhale, pull the tummy muscles in. If you need help, you can put your hand on the knees or hands on the knees. Coming all the way up, we've got this lovely curve of the body. So hopefully you can see that I've got almost like the shape of a capital C through my spine. We're going to try and keep that shape, but bend the knees. This next exercise is not for anyone with osteoporosis, osteopenia, okay? Please don't do it. Um, anyone else, uh, any spine issues, just take it really easy. So we're going to bring the legs together and we're going to put our hands on our shins and we're just going to tip back so the weight is in our tailbone and then we can lift the feet off the floor. So this is the first of the rolling exercises. So you're going to have the hands on the shins there. You're going to keep the feet in and we're just going to pop the elbows out a little. So getting a little bit of work in the arms and shoulders. And now you're going to draw your tummy muscles in and you're going to keep pulling in until you fall back. So you're going to inhale back. And then you're going to exhale, come back up. You're going to try and do it without putting the feet down. So here we go, inhale back and exhale up. Inhale back and exhale up. So stay nice and steady. All the work is coming from the abdominals. So that roll back is because you're pulling the tummy in and that's initiating that movement. We're gonna go back and up and back and up and one more back. And up, we're going to hold it here. We're going to lift the feet up and we're going to put our hands underneath. So this is called the teaser prep. So this prepares you for an exercise you'll do later. So you're going to take a deep breath in. You're going to exhale, pulling the tummy muscles in and coming down through the spine, just onto your waistband, okay? No further. And then you're going to inhale, take the head forward Lift yourself up, but this time, let's go into a nice extended spine and draw those shoulders down and back. So trying to really lengthen the spine. So we're gonna exhale, drawing the tummy muscles in and coming down. And we're gonna inhale, head forward. Lifting up and drawing those shoulders back. We're gonna exhale, coming down. Inhale, head forward and lifting up. Good. Exhale as you come down. Inhale, head forward and lifting up. And last one, exhale, coming down. And this time we're going to stay here. So we're staying in this chest position. We're going to put our hand, our hands, our hands on the hands on the top towards us. And we're going to keep our head up. So if your head starts to hurt, your neck starts to hurt, you're going to put your head down. Otherwise, from here, we're going to breathe in and send the arms and legs in opposite directions. And then exhale, circle around. So you're going to inhale, extend. And exhale, circle. Inhale, extend. And exhale, circle. So it's inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Holding it there, we're going to send our left leg forward and hold on to our right knee. This is called the single leg stretch. So we're going to exhale, we're going to switch and switch and switch and switch. Good, keep it going and switch and switch and switch. Now we're going to take the hands behind the head and reach and reach and reach and reach and reach. And reach. And reach, and two, let's add a rotation, and rotate, and rotate, and rotate, and rotate. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring those knees in, just rest your head down. Just gonna have a little momentary stretch because we're about halfway. Let's just turn the head right and left, release that neck, hands on the knees, take a deep breath in, and you're going to exhale, pulling those knees towards you, and inhale, little release, exhale, draw those knees towards you, 
Inhale, little release. And exhale, pull the knees towards you. And little release. Okay, so we're gonna bring those legs together. We're gonna to put the hands underneath. And from here, we're going to lift the head and we're gonna come all the way up and place those feet down. So if you're just joining us, we're doing a pure Pilates class today. You'll see it's a little bit harder when you're just doing all the traditional exercises without a break. So we're gonna start with those legs out lifting up through the sit bones. If you need to, you can absolutely bend your knees, all right? Otherwise, you can have the legs straight, knees soft. Let's reach the arms out in front, and let's visualize we've got a wall behind us. So we're really trying to connect everything to that wall, and think about having this kind of thread in the top of your head, and you're just lifting up, yeah, through the spine. So from here, you're going to take a breath in and you're going to breathe out, taking the chin to the chest, scooping the tummy muscles in and then coming forward, rounding that spine. So you're feeling the stretch through here, not moving from the hips. It's very different to a traditional kind of just stretching forward. So you're pulling back in the tummy as you go towards the floor. Then you're going to take a deep breath in. And exhale, draw the tummy muscles in and slowly come back up through the spine. Let's do that again. Deep breath in and exhale. Down we go. Inhale. And exhale as you come back up. Good. Deep breath in and exhale down. Inhale, and exhale, up. Now we're gonna change the exercise and we're gonna take the arms out to the side. You're gonna have your palms facing forward and we're gonna do the saw, okay? So you're gonna rotate right. And you're looking down towards your right foot. And imagine you are gonna saw off your little toe, all right? So you're gonna flex forward reaching towards that little toe. And at the same time, think of almost reaching back with the other arm. So we're getting that stretch in two directions. Then you're gonna return on that diagonal line, drop the shoulder down and come back to the center. So you're gonna inhale as you rotate to the left. Exhale, flexing forward, same idea. Pull the tummy muscles in, reaching towards that little toe, reaching back with the other arm. And then coming back up and to the center. So you're gonna to inhale to rotate. We're gonna exhale, coming down. We're gonna to inhale to lift up and exhale, center, good. Inhale, rotate. And exhale, coming down. Really into that stretch, inhale up. And rotate, we're gonna do two more. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, up, and center, and inhale, rotate. And exhale, inhale. But you don't do these if you have osteopenia or osteoporosis, all right? So these exercise, this is the one that always gets a giggle in class whenever I do it, it's called the seal. So you're gonna bring the feet together and have your knees apart. And as we do with the other rolling exercise, you're gonna tilt back so the weight's in the pelvis and you can easily lift those legs up. Okay, so you're gonna lift the feet up, hands come through the center, yeah? And then around onto the feet. So one, two. And now you're gonna imagine your feet, it's like a seal. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so you're gonna think you're clapping those feet. The feet are not doing the exercise. The arms are moving the legs. All right, so you get a big stretch in the uh, inner thighs as well. So the way this works is we do three beats. One, two, three. We roll back. We hold it, three beats. One, two, three, and roll up. So I want you to give that a go. You don't have to do it alongside me. You can go faster. If you've not done it before, the quicker the, the quicker it is, the easier. So it's one, two, three, roll back. And one, two, three, roll up. One, two, three, roll back. 
L1, 2, 3, roll up. So all as you can see, this is where Pilates really comes into play because you can see how much control you need to hold positions while you're doing these exercises. And up. L1, 2, 3, and up. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and back. And one, two, three, and up. Well done. Let's place the feet down. And let us come back down onto the mat. So we're nice and warm in the spine now. And what we're going to do is we're going to try an exercise. It's called the rollover. It is an intermediate exercise. So any issues with your neck, I would sit this one out, okay? Maybe watch this or try one and see how it feels. Okay, so what you're going to do is have your hands by your side. You're going to lift your legs up into a tabletop and then extend them up further. And you're going to draw the tummy muscles in. And we're going to start with, actually, let's start with a prep just because I'm not sure who's everyone that's with me today. So we'll do a little prep. Let's have the knees bent, arms by the side. And then what I want you to do is take a breath in, just reach the knees away a couple of inches, and as you exhale, push into the hands and see if you can bring yourself up so you're balancing on your shoulders in this position. And then you're going to inhale to lower down. So let's try that together. So we're going to take a deep breath in. Exhale. Lift. So your knees are above your eyes. They're not too close. Yeah, they're not dropping down like this. They're above the eyes and down. And one more. And down. So that's the prep. So you can keep doing that or you can try the full exercise with me. You can extend the legs up, arms by your side, and then you're going to draw the tummy muscles in. We're going to reach those legs away. And then we're going to inhale to 90 degrees. Exhale to roll over. So knees are above your eyes. Then you're going to flex the feet, separate the feet, shoulder width, and you're going to lower down without going any further onto the neck. So it's as far as your hamstrings will stretch. Then you're going to exhale, coming down through the spine, nice and controlled. Once you're down, draw a little circle. And back, so it's inhale to 90 degrees, exhale over. Flex the feet, separate the feet, lower the toes towards the floor. And then you're going to exhale, come down through the spine, drawing a little circle and back. One more time, inhale, exhale over, flex, separate and lower. And then you're going to exhale, Coming down through the spine, a little circle and back. Well done. Let's bend the knees and let's come on onto our side. So we'll do the side leg lift. So that's one leg on top of the other, one hip on top of the other. So you're making sure you're not rolling back or forth. This arm palm is up and then you can have the hand in front. Or if you want to challenge your body this morning, you can have the hand here. All right, so you're going to take a breath in. We're going to breathe out and float both legs up. And inhale, lower, but not touch the floor. And we're going to exhale, lift. And inhale, lower. Exhale to lift and lower. That's it. Lift and lower. Lift, no touching the floor. And lift and lower. Last one. Lift. And low. Let's take the legs down and we're going to come on up. And I'm going to give you two choices. You can either be on your elbow like this, or you can be forearm. We're going to go into a big side plank now, okay? So from here, lifting up through the tummy muscles, arms out for everyone. You're going to breathe in to lift up. You're going to breathe out. And as you go over, press into that hand. And try to lift the hip high to the ceiling. Inhale back to that T position and exhale to lower down. So deep breath in to lift. And exhale over. Inhale to the T. And lower down. One more. Inhale, lift. And exhale over. And inhale to the T. 
and lower down. Okay, let's do the other side. So side leg lifts, lying on your side, one leg on top of the other. Do check because technique is so important in Pilates because if you get your body in the right position, then you're going to work your muscles evenly. So one hip stacked above the other, arm out, and then hand is here or here. Take a deep breath in, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, but don't quite touch the floor. And exhale to lift and lower. Exhale, lift and lower. Good, lift and lower, lift and lower, keep going, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, last one, and lower, well done, come on up, so you're going onto your elbow like this, or you're going to the full side plank with the arm out, just check that hand is further out than the shoulder, okay, and then take the arm out to the side, here we go, breathing in, lift, breathing out, you're going over into your side bend, inhale back to the T, and exhale to lower down, so deep breath in, lift, exhale over, inhale to the T, and lower down, last one, inhale, lift, exhale over, Inhale to the T, and then you're going to take it from there into a plank position. So those that were on the full arm, you're in a plank position. Everyone else, come and lie on your front. Little extra challenge for those that want the challenge. You're going to go from here. You're going to bend the elbows, and you're just going to lower yourself with control all the way down to the floor. Well done. Let's relax those feet, and let's have the elbows bent. Hands down by your side. Okay, so this is called the swan. You're going to separate your feet so they're about hip width apart. You're going to draw your shoulders away from your ears. And you're going to breathe in, lifting the spine up. Once you've got the weight in your hands, you're going to breathe out and come all the way up or as far as feels okay for your body and then you're going to lower back down all the way back down so always be guided by how your body feels so we breathe in starting to lift up draw the shoulders away from the ears exhale pushing up good and then inhale and lowering back down. What well about you? I'm feeling very warm. So I'm going to inhale and exhale, lifting up. Deep breath in and exhale to lower down. Let's just do one more. Deep breath in. Starting to lift the chest up, exhaling, pushing into those hands. And coming up, good. And then lowering all the way back down. Well done. Let's have the hands underneath. Push yourself up and bring your knees in. And we're going to come and sit on the bottom. And we are going to finish. Let's have a big finish. Let's do. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to try it. So you're going to bring your feet towards you. You're going to have your knees apart, and same again, let's tilt back so we can feel the weight and we can easily lift the legs up, all right? From here, you're going to put your hands onto your legs wherever you can reach. So for me, I'm quite flexible, so I feel comfortable with the legs around the ankles. Some of you might feel better with the hands underneath the thighs here, all right? Or somewhere in between. And then you're going to extend the right leg up. You can extend the left leg up as far as they will stretch. So if you don't have the flexibility, you can be holding right, like this, all right? So we're going to extend those legs up. And then we're going to engage our shoulder muscles and extend that upper part of the spine. So you're looking straight ahead, legs not too wide, about shoulder width. And then you're going to try and roll in this position. So you're going to draw the tummy in and keep pulling in until the weight changes, inhaling back. 
And then exhaling, coming up and finishing in that position there with the shoulders down. How did you do? Should we try it again? So you're going to draw the tummy in. That's it, tilting back. And then exhale, coming up and finishing in that end position. So we're trying to hold it. This is we're really using every muscle in the body now because we've got to control everything. So drawing the tummy in. Coming back and exhale. And up. Next one's the last one. Here we go. Draw the tummy in. And exhale. Coming up. Holding that end position. All right. And here we go. We're going to bring the legs together. And we'll make this the last exercise for today. Bring the legs together. Whether they're bent or straight, doesn't matter. Let's bring them together. Let's try and release the hands for the teaser. So you're going to exhale, draw the tummy in, leave the legs where they are, come down through the spine and reach the arms overhead. Then you're going to bring the arms forward. You're going to lift the head. And as we did earlier, you're going to inhale to lift up. But this time, the arms are going up in the air, all the way up. Good, so you're going to exhale down, arms overhead, bring the arms forward, inhale lift. I know it's a challenge, let's do one more, coming down, and arms overhead, bring the arms forward, lifting up, lift, 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 all the way up. Well done, and then take the legs down, and then from there, let's just come into a kneeling position. We're all done, so we'll just do a little cat stretch before we finish. All right, so take a deep breath in, and then just exhale, draw the tummy in, tuck the tailbone under, and just let the head drop down there. You're going to hold that position. You're going to tuck your toes under, and then you're going to lift up, and push the weight back towards the feet, lowering those heels down. So getting that lovely stretch with the shoulders and the legs. Walk your feet in towards your hands. That's it, and then take the weight out of your hands. Take a deep breath in, you're gonna exhale, coming all the way up through the spine. Well done, and then just roll those shoulders out. Good, and that's your class for today. Well done, everybody. Uh, yeah, that was hopefully, that was quite a robust class, wasn't it? Um, but we went with the vote, which was pure Pilates. So I've tried to give you a flavor. Obviously, in a traditional class, we would do a full hour, so you would do more repetition and there'd be more exercises and things, but that gives you an idea of the more traditional Pilates movements. Um, so yes, yeah, so well done. And I will come to your um, questions very soon. But I, uh, somebody sent me a little reminder last week, a lovely chap called Matty, saying to make sure I ask you to press the like button. So can I ask you to press the like button, please, if you enjoyed that class? Uh, that would really help. And if you could share it with anyone you know, this is obviously a, a class of people who are relatively fit and able-bodied. But on the channel, I do have videos for all ages and levels. So um, if you've got parents that need to do a senior Pilates class or even a Pilates class in a chair, I've got videos for that. And I've also got more videos with this kind of more robust work as well. Um, and as always, let me know what you want, because I just want to make things for you that are going to help you get through this difficult time. So it isn't just about, um, you know, Pilates per se. It's about us managing our mental health as well as our physical health while we're stuck in this lockdown. All right, so I want to just keep you feeling upbeat. So that's why I gave you quite a hard class today, because I'm hoping it's giving me a little bit of a, a booster. All right, so I better come to uh, questions. I'm going to just quickly um, scroll up to the top and just uh, check. Um, I haven't missed anybody out. Wonderful. Good. Excellent. Oh, great. Hello, Anna. Good morning, Anna. 
wonderful. Uh, <laughs> yes, the seal puppy is, hello, Gordon. Lovely to have you here. Yes, I call it the seal puppy because it just makes me laugh, that exercise. It makes everyone laugh. And often what happens is it's one of those things people often don't understand what Pilates does until they've been doing it for a while. And then suddenly something just clicks in your head and you think, oh, I can do that. That exercise, I never thought I'd better do that before. Or I suddenly noticed that I can, I don't know, run up the stairs without using my hands because I've got core strength, you know, whatever it is. And the seal puppy is one of those exercises. I think it's a really good test of your core strength because you're essentially using all your core, so front side and your back muscles, to hold your spine and your body in a certain position while you roll back and forth. And that's the idea of those exercises. They really are, yeah, strong on the core, so good fun. Uh, and well done for trying, Gordon. That's brilliant, uh, really good. <laughs> uh, yes, very funny. Uh, no, I don't think you'll need a hip replacement. I think you'll be all right. I think you'll be fine. <laughs> but yes, I always get the giggles when I when I do that exercise. It's quite fun. Um, wonderful. Good. Da -da -da. Kate, well done. You did really well. Thank you, Joe, for the endorsement. And Alex, lovely to have you. And well, I'm here every Friday, so I know it's really hard to get into classes, isn't it? But I teach this live every Friday and it's free, completely free. If you want to pay for classes, I do do classes um, on my normal timetable and I do them like this, but I do them on Zoom. So Zoom is interactive. So you can pay to join a class and on that you'll see me, but you'll also see yourself and everyone's in, in class and we can actually talk to each other. Um, so if that's something you'd be interested in, you can go to my website, which is rachellancepilates.com. Uh, there's a link on the YouTube channel. And you can have a look at my weekly timetable. And I do do those classes uh, during the week. All right. And they're all different levels. So uh, wonderful. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Kathy. Yes, they were. The last few minutes were quite tough, weren't they? Uh, hello, Matty. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, well, I did. Yeah, well, you did well, though, to do the class, Matthew. So, yeah, I mean, the, today I was trying to give a bit of a flavour of where Pilates can take you to in terms of fitness. Um, but yes, with Pilates, it's repeat, 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 repeat. The more you do it, the fitter you'll get and the more flexible you get. So I would encourage you, yes, to revisit those live classes. I also had a question for you guys, actually, which was, I'm trying to organize the channel so you can find things easier that you want when you want them. And I wondered whether or not it would be helpful if I put a title that says the date of when the live was. So if you knew, for example, you really enjoyed the workout I did last week, the flow, if having the date in the title makes it easier for you to find. Do let me know, send me any messages like that because this is all a learning process for me and I wanna make sure that it works for you because that's that's why I'm doing it. So yes, and uh, yes, Matty, go, go and practice. It's always good to just go over things. Well done. Uh, Kate, yes, I'll save this on a playlist. Yes, I will. So we did a half an hour, so I'll probably put it in the half an hour, 30 minute workout playlist. And I'll also put it in the in the intermediate playlist. So you will find it in there. So thanks for that, because, yes, I'll definitely do that. Uh, hi, Miriam. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the workout. Yes. Yeah, it was pretty challenging, wasn't it? Um, yes. Yeah, so in terms of strengthening the tummy muscles, the best things to do are my fundamental beginner's workouts. So I've got the one to four set, uh, which are the tutorials. They're really good because they will talk you through that work very slowly with real detail. And if you do those and repeat those, you'll eventually get to the point where you know exactly what you're doing and how to engage in the core. And then what you can add to that, Miriam, is to go into the 10 minute beginner workouts, which are more of a flow, but they're a short 10 minutes. And they've all got abdominal exercises in. And I've also got one, I think it's called uh, Absolute Abs, which I filmed in Madeira. So I've got four 
uh, workouts I did in Madeira. And there's one which is just abdominal. So you might want to have a check of that one and see if that works for you. Um, oh, the other thing is, Miriam, is that there's also a video I shot, which is how to engage your core muscles. So that's a it's like a four minute tutorial that might be useful for you if you are needing some uh, help in understanding or what you're trying to engage and where they are. Because I think sometimes if people understand where the muscles are that they're trying to get to, you can sort of, you can you can use your mind to kind of focus on that. So that might be worth um, looking at. Uh, thank you very much, Cheryl. Ah, oh, thank you. Like the speed, good. Well, maybe we should bring that into class uh, if you like that, Cheryl. Yeah, because I did less, ex less repetitions today and more exercises and, I think that gives you a bit of that rush, doesn't it? Um, so that's good. And your friend Chrissy, who's with you today. By the way, everyone, it's so lovely. I've got two ladies here who are really good friends, and one's in the UK and one's in Spain, and they come and join each other on this. So I just think that's so lovely. Uh, well done, everyone. Good, good, good. Oh, very glad you enjoyed it. Uh, Fiona. Oh, da, da, da. can you advise follow on from beginners one to four, two to four? Yes, absolutely, Fiona. So um, if you've done the one to fours and you're very comfortable with those, what you can add into those are the short beginner workouts. So I've got um, anything that's kind of 10 minutes that says beginners flow, beginners workout. There's quite a few on the channel. Um, so if you go in and look at those and try those ones, because they are basically the, the tutorials uh, brought down into a 10 minute slot so it just rips you through one, 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 one after the other and they're really good ones to do I would say with the tutorials if you know it back to front then you can move on if you feel you're still needing those cues and understanding which is normal um, because we all need cues even me when I'm taking my own class um, then I would say do the tutorial but add in another workout or two uh, and the other thing I was going to say to all of you, actually, is try and do some of the standing workouts on the channel. And I, I say that because particularly now with us all being in lockdown, we're not moving as much. We're not walking as much. And so you really want to get that little bit of work through the legs. And that's why I've got so many of those standing workouts. Most of them are 10 or 15 minutes. So what you could do is do one of those and then go down into the Pilates work on the floor after. And that's a really good combination. And I do that myself because I think it works really well right now with us being sort of limited to where, where we can where we can go, what we can do. Uh, hello, Irene. Yes. OK, yes. Some of the positions were were quite tricky. Uh, Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Irene. That's really nice and well done. Uh, considering you've had surgery as well, that's incredible. So for you, uh, you, uh, I would say if you like that, then you, you can keep doing these exercises, but to make sure you integrate that with some very simple core work during the week. So if you do my videos that are very core focused, uh, so the, all the ones which are kind of the abdominal ones, very slow engaging of the tummy muscles that will help you get some more strength there um, but well done for doing it that's wonderful good Janet tight hamstrings yes tight hamstrings uh, I've got two videos on the channel you can try uh, which are stretches they're both stretch workouts and if I remember rightly, I've got those crazy pink leggings on that I wear sometimes. They're like shiny pink leggings. There's a standing stretch, which is quite a tough one. In fact, really good for anyone who wants to burn calories. It's a standing stretch. I think it's deep stretch core workout that has hamstring stretches in. And I've got a really nice lying down one, which says uh, leg stretches for runners and cyclists. So Janet, that would be really good for you to do. It's just 10 minutes and it's all focused on gentle stretching of the hamstrings. I mean, when we what we did today, there was a lot of hamstring stretching in it. So doing those exercises will also really, really help you stretch them out. All right. And one thing, yes, with Pilates, it's very much stretch and strengthen. So all the exercises have an element of stretch 
and an element of strengthening, which is why it's such a good combination, which is why you get this kind of lean uh, kind of muscles, yeah, is from because you work the, the body in two directions, stretch and strengthen. Uh, you're very welcome, Tony, Tony, Tony. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Oh, thank you, Tony. Yeah, I love the Madeira ones. It takes me back to being there and feeling the sea breeze. And yes, well, keep going with the great work. That's really wonderful, everyone. Uh, so just before I sign off, I was just going to quickly tell you that I'm running a promotion on my Facebook uh, site. That's Rachel Lawrence Pilates on Facebook. And basically, it's because I've just got a thousand subscribers on there. So I'm offering a free a one hour private Matt Pilates session with me over Zoom. So it can be at your leisure at the time that suits you. And all you have to do is like the page and then share it with a friend and tag me in. So if you want to do that, you've got the potential of having a free one-to-one -one Pilates session with me over Zoom, which is a video link. Uh, and it's great because it means I can see you and I can guide you and help you. So if you want to do that, pop over to my Facebook page. And yes, I'm, I'm going to sign off now just to say, please like it if you enjoyed it. And I really look forward to seeing you again next Friday. Have a fantastic day. All right. Take care and bye for now. Bye bye.